Hi, Seth Liu over here. And as an independent financial advisor, I can tell you that money is useless. What? What? Money is useless un until it is used. And this is, you know, a good analogy because they say, they, you always say that money is just a tool, a means to an end. If I could put it into, uh, 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 you know, in an analogy to say that money is like your car, right? Some Something that uh, everyone of you can relate to. If a car just sitting, you know, sitting in your garage, sitting in your porch, you own this car. And if the car is going nowhere, it is of no use because it defeats the purpose of having a car. Because what ultimately you want to achieve is that if you have a car, you own a car, you want, you actually don't want to own the car for the sake of owning a car. What you want is that you want the car to get you, you want to go somewhere, right? You want to go somewhere because this is your end goal. This is your end goal. Your car will go bring you to work, bring you for any leisure activity, bring your family to go shopping and all that. In order for you to go there, you can actually also drive yourself. If you are licensed to drive, take a license and drive it to wherever you want to go yourself. <clears throat> or you can actually hire a driver. The good thing about this is you don't even have to own a car because you can actually lease the car to, to be to for this car to actually be sitting in your porch or actually in your garage. You don't need to outright own it. You can hire this and what I call as you can take a loan and whatnot, hire this and you know or you know you use other people's money. That's how uh, a lot of people will buy a car take a loan, take a higher purchase loan and things like that. Now, the thing is, of course, there is a, a certain cost of you to actually learn to drive and uh, uh, get the license. But most of the time, after that, driving a car, if you were to self-drive your car, this doesn't, you know, this doesn't really cost you any money, right? Every time you want to drive the car, it just costs you petrol or fuel, which if you hire a driver, this is what you will need to pay anyway. But if you know that if you hire someone to drive it for you, it's going to cost you money. So the analogy I want to share with you is that it is like in investing. You want to invest on yourself. Now it takes probably a lesser cost, right? Doesn't mean zero cost. You have still have to pay for certain transaction fees, but because you are not uh, hiring another person, another entity to manage that for you so that you save some money from there. But if you were to hire a driver, another person, to drive the car for you to get you to wherever you want to go you know that you have to pay a wages a salary to that person so you'll be you know uh you know it is uh it is an extra cost so a lot of people are very worried about investing costs and all that but here's the thing here's the thing and this is going to mind boggle you is that if you if you you make so much money and you focus on all your income generating your earning activity and you make so much money, it really doesn't hurt you to actually pay for someone, a driver, to drive this car for you. Because rather than you spend the time driving the car, the, the, time, the time spent driving the car can be used to be involved in your money generating activity. Which is, you know, you just earn money there, just uh, put some of it to hire a driver. And you probably, as you progress in life, you probably don't mind hiring a driver because your time is better spent here to focus on your business or your career rather than get time stuck over here and driving yourself because it doesn't really hurt you. You know, if, if I'm saying that you are earning like 10, 20,000 a month, would it actually hurt you to actually just pay 500 per month just to hire someone to be a driver? No. But if you're earning like 2000 per month, like 500 per month is a big sum. So you probably do not want to hire a driver because you don't earn that much. And that's the thing when people say that, you know, high investment costs and all that, which I agree, cost is one thing that eats into investment, but they are just not looking this from a, a high, higher level perspective, right? In, in Penang, you know that uh, most people stay in high rise condo apartments and all that or even people who stay in landed house what they do is that they don't even wash their car anymore which is why all the car wash uh, car wash services are mushrooming you know everywhere so you everywhere you can see this car wash and on weekend you have, can see there's a long queue because 
people rather have time people rather not spend the time to wash their own car and they just pay like less than 10 ringgit or what not or 10 ringgit to actually get their car washed right because your time is more valuable than washing your car so you can just afford to actually pay someone to do things that you don't like to do perhaps like you know you drive your own you have to be getting very frustrated in a traffic jam and all that so you don't want that kind of frustration because if you are the passenger rather than the driver in the car you can be productive you can rest you can do your own thing check facebook or even work and all that this is the analogy right and people understand this this car washing analogy but they fail to understand this hiring a driver kind of analogy but you know that what is the mo most important thing is that even though you can hire a driver even though you can uh, lease or even own this car upright you know that where you want to go you should not actually let this driver to determine where you want to go because that is your journey you have to take charge you have to get direction of where you want this driver to drive you okay if you do not if you let someone dictate where you want to go it, you may or may not like where you end up with which is what the driver thinks he wants to be not where you want to be and that is why in investing you need to take charge and you also have to even if you were to ask someone to manage your investment or all that you have to trust but verify because ultimately that is your accountability that's your responsibility right and that is why re I, I say that having a car is not enough having a driver is not, not enough or ha driving yourself not enough you must know your gps this is your gps right this is your gps know where you want to go if not you won't like where you will end up with people also say that investment is actually very scary it's very dangerous you can lose money now the analogy is every tool can be dangerous even this pen that i'm holding there can be dangerous if i'm going to use force and i i'm 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 to i'm going to force this pen into your eyeballs now that could be a dangerous tool any tool can be dangerous because you know naturally if you have a car if you are you are licensed to drive it it's not dangerous but if you are to put your four years old kid inside the car do you think it will be dangerous of course it will be dangerous and disaster will happen so what you do you learn and you train okay you put into practice you know you learn and train to drive first and then only you actually say that okay i learned to drive in a, in a constraint a control environment and then you drive in public roads and then before you are comfortable to, 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 to drive on highway so you have to learn it to drive first because if you do not know imagine you don't own a car you have the money you don't learn how to drive you don't hire a driver the car doesn't serve any purpose because once you these are the tool these are the element the ingredient that makes you go to where you want to go using a gps that is where you can expand your world world view and when i say expand your world view it means that you know your perspective broadens you know our life actually become more freeing it's more a fun experience because you can see more things we can experience more things now incidentally this is also that um an incident happened i was like you know um having dinner with one of my you know my family and all that and then the chef used you know of the chef of this restaurant you know it just came out with someone that i think we have a mutual mutual friend with now back in 2018 you know that you know quarter four the on that stock market was down and uh, you know whatever market you invest in you will surely lose money and this chef who are uh, a chef because his specialty is cooking you know not stock investing but because he jump in because he heard some relative actually jump into investing and that is why he he, he actually follows it and then he say in 2018 he lose a lot of money and he say he swear that he was knowing not going to buy any stocks he's not going to invest in the stock market again and i asked him that why but because he says dangerous right um i could lose money but then i say that well uh, from my perspective, I, this one I'm t telling him, I'm working in a kitchen in front of the fire, the wok, you know, there are big fires and all that, there are hot oil and all that, is also dangerous. I say that if my kids uh, grow up and they say they want to be a chef, I say that no, I'm not going to let him to become a chef because working in the kitchen with all the hot oil fire and all that is dangerous. But then this chef, by career, he actually retorted and he said that, well, <clears throat> it's actually not because he keeps everything under control he know what to do what to prevent you know like explosion from happening and all that 
So that's the same analogy I, I say to him now. The reason you think stock market is dangerous is because you haven't known that well enough because you don't have that kind of exposure, knowledge and controls in place to say what you should do if this, this and that and things can happen. Now, now, there's no guarantee that we, we wouldn't met with an accident if we drive. You know, perhaps if you are careful, other people might be careless, right? And in the kitchen, there's no guarantee there won't be fire, there won't be explosion, we won't get burned. But the thing is, risk is inherent in everything we do. Even if you're walking down the stairs, you take an escalator, you're driving a car, you're working in the kitchen, in your own home, you're using a knife, there's still a risk. Right? But we must always start with you know knowing do due diligence, learn how to mitigate the risk. You know, it's like first driving the car they, they, they ask you like how <clears throat> how to use a clutch. Back in the days, uh we, 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 we have to go to the, the, the examination only using you know the car with the clutch and the manual manual drive, not the auto. I mean now nowadays I think you can you know pass your license just by driving auto car which is so easy. So you must know what is the risk okay and how to mitigate the risk okay risk is mitigated by knowing how to do that things well and knowing what's the worst that can happen uh what you don't know and you know what is the uh, 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 things when shit happen like how to handle i hope that gives you a perspective of it. investing is not dangerous okay and that on my original point i know i'm a bit of a digress over here to when i, I tell you about the chef story and the car story but a car is just a vehicle how you use this vehicle very dangerous or not whether it goes to where you want or not uh whether you hire someone to do it for you or not these are all the vehicles but end of the day this is the red one is what matters you want to get to somewhere now car like i say is a money money is the same investing the same investing is money money is investing that is essentially your car driving all that is essentially useless except you know where you want to go which is what where you set your angle you set your direction and the tools that you have will only be a means to get you where you want to be and that is as simple that is right so that being said i hope this uh video has been uh lesson has been uh, useful for you for some of you are starting out investing even though we are veteran i hope this perspective is useful this is very profound money is useless just a tool is useless until it is used that being said let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh, you know i appreciate your you know a like i mean if you if you think what i i just talked about makes sense uh comments below subscribe and click on notification bell so you get notified when i publish more lessons like this so this is cf Liu from cf Liu channel and uh, you have a good day